All right, hello everyone and welcome on back to Dash Auto Repair. Today we are working on a 04 Infiniti QX55. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be replacing the fuel pump. Let me show you where it's at. I'm going over to the passenger side, right behind the driver, and this is where we'll be working. First, what we need to do is undo the battery. That's why I have that light there, so that way we can see what's going on right here. But we're gonna have to cut this carpet out, take the cap off, take the fuel pump out, put the new pump in. Stay tuned. All right, first thing you wanna do is you wanna come back to the engine bay and you wanna remove the negative battery terminal. Always number one. And then number two is safety goggles. Make sure you have some glasses. There you go. All right, pulled the plug. I'm going on over here, right behind the driver's seat, right here. This is where we're going to be working. So first, what you want to do is you want to cut a circle because if you fill, that's the chassis, that's the top of the fuel pump. So it's a cover. And if you want to take that cover off, there are three screws. Once you take the cover off, there's a fuel pump right underneath there. All right, so I'm going to get to cutting this. Make sure you cut really thin and don't cut all the way because we just want to open it up and just kind of sit it right here. So that way we can put it back and it still kind of, you know, looks fine aesthetically. All right, I'm going to cut this up and then we're going to pop this open and see what's next. All right, guys, so I went ahead and cut up. There are three spots we need to look at. We have one here, one here, and one over here. So pretty much if you look at it, this just needs to turn. So I'm gonna get my Phillips screwdriver after I use a razor blade to cut this. I'm gonna get my Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna turn those real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these with my Phillips. I'm just gonna turn them. They go to the right, not the left. Do not strip these. See, I'm going to the right. Okay, this one back here. Going to the right. There we go. Now it's unlocked. Now we just take the cap off. So you can get this. Uh, basically what I'm using is a small pry bar or a screwdriver. Works just fine. But you want to get in here. You want to kind of pry it up a little bit because it's got some adhesive on there. And you want to pull it out. I'm gonna set the, the cover to the side and there's the fuel pump. All right, so the most important part of this is you do not wanna get anything inside of the fuel pump or the fuel tank. That will cause a lot of problems. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into removing this, pulling it out and putting the new one in. These are the tools I have. I have a flat screwdriver, it's pretty beastly. A Phillips, it's cute the razor blade to cut it got some grease don't use wd-40 wd-40 might dry out use grease and a richard hammond hammer <laughs> all right stay tuned let's get this out all right so the next step is to remove the lock ring and then the connectors so electrical connector make sure the battery is off before you do this None of the bolts do anything, so to speak. I wonder if there's a tool and whatnot that you could use to turn it. I'm sure there is, but we don't need that tool because I already sprayed these little grooves right here with a little WD-40. Just kidding. <laughs> I put a little grease over here on the grooves um, to help it slide and whatnot. Um, so basically we need to get the slot ring off, the connectors off, and it should pop right out. Here is the new pump. Make sure you take off all the components. All right, I'm going to set this aside. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I need to organize my light here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So, here we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop these out. This one's going to be first. Actually, before we do this, we're going to... Uh, loosen up the lock ring. So what I'm doing is I got a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. I'm just going to tap it a little bit into the grooves so that way it can come off. Okay. Do this 
this a bit more, but I'm going to tap this a little bit and try to get this off, guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead and, as I said, I put grease on the little contact so that way it was smooth going around as I was hitting this with a ball joint separator and a hammer. Basically, I was hitting the edge and I was just scooting it around this way so that way I don't need to get the tool. And here we are. Now it's removed. Now I can smell fuel. So please, 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 please do not do anything that will make a spark over here while we're working with the fuel system. It will explode. You will get hurt. You don't want that. So take your safety precautions. All right. And I also brought some rags to clean up the mess. This is where the fuel is going to be spewing out. I went ahead and undid the electrical connector. You just push it and push out. Um, so now we need to remove these since the ring is now removed. Locking ring. See how the pump just kind of like moves around? We're almost there, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these two. And how I'm going to do it is I'm going to put a little flathead. Here. Uh. Let's see if, hmm, let's see. I need to figure that out. I'm going to get a smaller flathead and I'm going to stick it in there. Stay tuned. All right, so it smells like gas. <laughs> I went ahead and got a different screwdriver. So we're going to attempt this one. Stick it in that little nozzle. Shimmy it out. That's not working. All right. So I know these are the quick connect ones. I'm try this side. Oh, just my lighting real quick. Here we go. Let's try this side. Try to remove the connectors before you remove the lock ring so that way the fuel pump doesn't just wobbling around. You'll get a better chance of uh, getting it out. easier with a quick connect tool but I don't have that and it's pretty hard for the quick connect tool to get in there all right so we're gonna focus on this side then so clip there and clip there I need two Phillips and this one you just kind of push that one is now off This one has no fuel in it, remember? This is the one that has fuel in it, so be ready. Once this one comes off, to get your rags to clean up the mess. I'm gonna kinda already put some rags in here to soak some of it up. I don't like messes. But we're almost halfway there, guys. Actually, I'm gonna put that back. And leave it like that. All right, so we need to get rid of this one. This one's a bit finicky than the other one. This one does not want to come off. have to do the two trick there it is look at that so get both of these two phillips stick them in there or flathead i'm sorry oh my god there goes my light anyways stick the two in there kind of guide it out and as you can see we have the connector out so like i said this one's going to be spewing so make sure to have a rag ready See it? There's already some fuel that's come out. We're just gonna wrap that bad boy around real quick. And we are going to take the piece right here 
off. If I can get it off, there we go. Inside. There wasn't that much spillage, I'll be honest. Okay. All right, so make sure to put this back into the new one on the right nozzle. So now we can remove the ring. I'm going to set some of this stuff aside. I need three hands. Ah. The one with gas just keeps spewing on me. Sit that one down there, kind of like this. All right, let's get this one. All right, so I guess I'm gonna have to lift up a little bit. Well, I'm just gonna pull the lock ring out with it. So let's go ahead and lift this bad boy out. Do not lose your quick connect. Set that aside safely. I don't know if it'll come out. There you go. It doesn't seem like you can just pop it out without removing the ring. So, remove that ring. All right, that's it. You just pull the old one out. As you can see, there's gas in there. Make sure not to get any gas anywhere. Looks like it's just sitting. This might make a mess. trying to drain some of that out I'm trying to drain some of that out so I'm just tilting to remove some of the gas out anyway so the reason why we're replacing the, the uh, fuel pump is because the simple fact is that the uh, fuel gauge was bouncing up and down whenever I, uh, I mean, not erratically, but wasn't really reading properly whenever I would put gas in. So, therefore, constitutes a replacement. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Careful. All right. So there she is. All right, you want to make sure nothing falls in that gas tank. Nothing. So, no dirt, debris, nothing. So, you can replace this if yours came with a new one. The uh, little O-ring right here, but mine did not come with a new one. Thanks, Rock Auto. I even got the premium one anyways. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in. Uh, has to be an easy way to tuck these bastards away. There really isn't. All right, so they just kind of hang there. Here is the new one. We're gonna put the quick connect adapter right here. So pull your quick connect adapter out. Stick it on there, you should hear a nice little click. Okay, that's it. Make sure the plastic is off and we're just gonna sit her in there.
Uh, looks like that component goes in first. The reader. Okay. There we go. All right. Now she's in. What's going on over here? Okay, that is in there. So I'm just kind of move everything away. Move everything aside. All right, there she is. Sat in there really nicely. So I'm gonna hold it, and then I'm gonna start plugging all this crap in. Why is it gotta be crap rich? Because. Uh, <laughs> don't be stupid like me. We gotta get the, gotta get the ring on. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy little trick here. Yeah. Nope, oh, that didn't work this time. Put it on all the way. There we go. All right, so. Guess I didn't get it. Ooh, that debris right there, that's not what you want. All right, let's try this again. Jesus, sounds vicious. So, make sure that you don't put this on. Put the lock. Put the lock ring on first. So, the three bolts are up. Push this bad boy back. Well, we got into the groove at first. There it is. I think that's it. There it is. All right, you'll feel it. I'm going to go ahead and clip all these in. Okay. I'm just going to kind of semi lock it. For now, so I can get these mofos in place. So, semi-locked. I'm plugging the, everything back in. This one doesn't look like it's going in. Okay. All right. So, now I just need the locker in place. Easier said than done, right? to push and push and turn at the same time I think I'm gonna hammer this back on because it looks like there's a skip right here on the lock ring and that might be kind of hard to get over that little hump so all right so I'm just gonna hammer it a little bit not too much. And if you're gonna do the hammer, make sure everything is closed. See how it's going on a bit? All right, I'm gonna check everything out, make sure it's actually sitting 
in the grooves and it looks like it is. So I'm gonna hammer this bad boy in there and make sure it locks. And then at that point, you can put the uh, cover back on, close it, put the flap over that you cut off, put the negative battery back on, and boom, you're good to go. So I'm gonna lock this on and then I'll show you guys what happens next. So actually this hammer method works pretty nicely. What I'm doing is I'm just putting it right here on the groove and I'm hitting it. And it's going over pretty nicely over the uh, big humps. And I'm halfway there. Just give it a couple more taps. So it looks like it is going over those grooves. I'm going to tap it a few more times and I'm going to tap it from another side. Maybe that'll help. Come on there, buddy. Let's work. Slowly but surely, this is the hardest part to get by. But you want these grooves. I don't know if you can see that, but you want the grooves to look exactly like they did when you moved it out. Let's make sure the job is done right. I'm actually going to use a different sort of... Different sort of... I'm going to use the ball joint remover. Alright. Ball joint remover. All right, we're just going to hit that. It's getting there slowly but surely but i'm gonna hammer this around and wait till it locks and i'll show you guys what's next as you can tell the hammer method works fucking great oh excuse my language it works great man so i'm gonna give one more tap on the hammer and i think we're good looks like it's behind the grooves all right i don't think that thing is going anywhere Cool. So, next step is to close the flap. Just kidding. We have to put the cap back on, make sure everything is tight, make sure the electrical connector is connected, and let's go ahead and put this back on. And so this time, I know it totally, oop, front, that way. Come on, Dash. All right, so I'm going over there. On over here, and I'm on over here. So get your Phillips and turn it left. Turn it left. Okay. Phillips left. All right. There you go. You just replaced the fuel pump. So go ahead and put your flap on. Put your battery, negative battery terminal back on, and then at that point start it up and see how things go. Like and subscribe for more, guys. Take care. Dash out. All right, so we're about to start her up after the fuel pump change. We got to prime the fuel pump. Start her up. And there she is. Look at that. Level's reading correctly as it should. 
the I should have sent you I should have showed you what the before looks like but anyway so my gauge was drip bouncing very slightly up and down and I was on half now I'm almost a uh, you know three quarters of the way the full and uh, things look good so job well done